What are you seeing in the market right now? Like, because I know there's a lot of news. Um, we know about the inflation numbers. There's a lot of, I would say, conflicting reports about what the holiday shopping season is going to look like. Obviously, we don't know it until we're there, but but mm -hmm. dispatch and trucking is going to be at the forefront of it, and, and they'll be able to know before everybody else. So what are you seeing in the market right now? Okay, so... I use a lot of relationships, right? So the relationships that I've garnered and, you know, poured into over the last couple of years, those are pretty much the, the sources where I get the majority of my freight. So my rates have been more insulated, you know, they haven't changed too mm -hmm. much, um, but I do have the opportunity to host a weekly, uh, you know, taping podcast with, Freightway sonar team. And, you know, each time we're talking about the market and the places where you should position your trucks to take advantage of opportunities. And a consistent question I ask is, or a lane that I look at is Atlanta to Philadelphia on the dry land. And I'll say that, you know, for Q1, uh, it was probably closer to about 380 a mile, something, something great. And, you know, since then, it's probably declined about 20%. So, you know, it's so in Q2 and going into the uh, towards the end of Q3, uh, it's definitely declined uh, a good amount. But what do I see as far as, uh, you know, the holiday season, I think that we're going to experience some some uh, higher rates. And I'm excited about those higher rates for the owner operators and small fleet owners who have been impacted by the, uh, the higher fuel costs. Mm -hmm. um, you know, earlier in the year, that was the, biggest, that was the biggest thing that I noticed with my carriers was just the fact that although the rates that I was even getting through my relationships were astronomically higher than what was advertised on the, excuse me, on the load boards, uh, fuel was still you know, cutting in a huge percentage of their margin. So, uh, you know, it, it just, we're in a spot where we're going to say, well, the rates might not be terrible, but just the fact that costs are up, um, you know, are they going to re really be able to see the margin that they need to see? Yeah, I, well said and seriously. And I remember that too, when, when the fuel prices first really jumped. I mean, we were hearing stories about, uh, these owner operators, I had to take out working capital loans just to buy fuel. I mean, you talk about the the mark of a disaster right there. So it's good that things are starting to to look a little bit better, look a little bit more stable. <laughs>